So the new chapter of Chainsaw Man just dropped, chapter 110, and it's titled A Ring in the Night. And I'm gonna be honest, Fujimoto kind of blue balled us here. The chapter opens up with Asa saying Yuko leg sword, and she literally makes a sword out of one of Yuko's legs that has been just left on the floor by an injured Yuko. We see Yoru then saying, remember me Chainsaw Man, and I just want to say, someone in my comments for my last Chainsaw Man video pointed out, how is Denji gonna react to a girl that's just naked stood in front of him? And I guess we got our answer because Denji just brain offs. He sees boobs, he sees thighs, and he sees a naked person in front of him. And then he absolutely sh his pants because one of the kids that was trapped in the school while Yuko was going crazy then appears from underneath Yuko's dismembered body. Denji's then like, do I know her? You know, and then he's like, oh, hey, I saved you. Yeah, it's me. Going off the back of the last chapter, Denji's trying to reveal his identity in one of the most natural ways that he can think of. This seems to be how he's going. I gotta be honest, if I was this girl and I just woke up underneath the body of a devil that just got dismembered in front of me and Chainsaw Man was looking at me in the face saying hey you I saved you I mean look at him he's hardly the most friendly looking motherfucker he has a chainsaw coming out of his forehead now the girl screams you know don't eat me and chainsaw wants yo I don't eat people because I'm human on the inside and then it's at this point that Yoru takes her, her you know her opportunity to try and slice Denji's face off basically with the leg sword from Yuko it's at this point that we see Yoshida yoink Denji out of thin air with his octopus devil I actually really like the hand sign I don't know if anyone's ever gonna try that but that the hand sign's kind of like, that is a hand sign that could only be made in manga, like, comfortably. Like, the way that is done, it looks super uncomfortable. I'm trying it with my hands now as we speak, and that hand sign is very, very uncomfortable right there. We then see Yoru missing her swing here and landing on thin air, and then realizing that he vanished. And then she takes offense to this, saying, is he not even worth my time? And then scream, show yourself, Chainsaw Man, I'll obliterate you. I like that she hasn't even realized that that wasn't Chainsaw Man Lee. Even. He literally just got yoinked out of thin air here. We then cut away to see Yoshida dropping Denji in the middle of the classroom, seeing you're hopeless, you know? I told you I'd stop you by force if I had to, and Denji screaming, but that was such a natural reveal. I love how Denji's sole purpose that entire fight was just to try and reveal his identity, and it feels like Yoshida is just stood there like a parent trying to drag their toddler away from doing something stupid. That's the kind of relationship that I get here. We then get more of these school kids from the destroyed school here talking talking about Yuko and how she transformed into a devil. And if you remember, Yuko's sole purpose in the previous chapter here and the past couple of chapters was to try and stop bullying in the school. And as you can see, the kids that are speaking to each other on the phone here are basically, the bullying doesn't go away at all. They then just basically say, you know, it goes to show how the mentally weak get tripped by devils easily. They call her the annoying one. You know, she was bullied at school and I bet that's why she made a deal with the devil. You know, and it's, it obviously he hasn't solved the problem. If anything, it's made it worse that she transformed and wiped out half the school. We then see a crowd and it says supposedly Yuko got away and hasn't been found. And then it cuts to Asa having a dream and I want to point out that the place that she's running from here inside this dream and the hallway that is shown reminds me so much of the dreams that Denji used to have way before we got that scene with the door of, you know, don't open the door, bang bang bang, and then he opens the door and something terrible happens. This is the same vibes that I get here. It's described that Asa was running and as she's running he sees the chickens, you know, the bodies of chickens basically referring to Bucky it's there's just too many of them for her to avoid and she ends up just having to step on them anyway and then she always wakes up at the part where the alleyway gets too dark for her to see she wakes up in a terror screaming basically well it looks like she's screaming or shocked at the very least at the nightmare and then her door rings and she like says who is it and honestly the way that the scene is drawn it reminds me so much of the Makima and power scene where Denji answers the door to power with the birthday cake and then Makima kills her. The vibes in this scene remind me so much of this. Yuko is on the other side of the door and she says hey Asa sorry for showing up in the dead of the night like this and Asa is obviously shocked because she thought that Yuko was dead but it turns out that Yuko isn't dead and somehow survived and she says don't open it. If 
if I see you, I might try to eat you. And she went, sorry, I managed to get away, but I've turned into a devil. We then see Asa opening up the door to a very deformed and disfigured Yuko. And she says, I told you not to open it. You still see slight bits of her hair, but more of like the tentacles that she has all over her face. She looks completely disfigured here. Fujimoto is now starting to build up like this tension. That's what it feels like to me. It, fe it feels like we're building towards something tense here with all these characters come together and especially with hints of the horsemen devils appearing obviously we have the war devil and we have that unknown devil that showed up in the middle of the last chapter where everyone is assuming that she is going to be a horseman devil but fujimoto is working towards something here and it's it feels tense when i'm reading it i get that same feeling back what i did when i was in chapter one where i feel like i'm gonna miss something like something is so gonna is something brutal and dark is gonna happen so casually and then i'm gonna have to go back a couple of pages and be like yo did i miss something or did that just go from zero to 100 real fucking fast here that's the chapter and i hope you enjoyed this review if you did enjoy the review and you like chainsaw man maybe drop a like subscribe and maybe comment on the video down below and let me know what your thoughts were on the chapter but that's all from me i'll catch you guys in the next one much love big kisses peace out